Hello viewers, welcome to my channel everyone. Look, we all know that on days of our lives, anything can happen. The deceased may be raised from the dead. It is possible to transplant someone's essence into a new body. Masks can alter not just the features of its users, but also their heights and voices. However, fans were completely unprepared for the show's surprises on this day in 1997. It should come as no surprise that Roman Brady's character was revived, but a different actor took on the role. Josh Taylor, who played Chris Kozicic on the show from 1977 to 1987, took over for Wayne Northrup, who created the role and served a second tour of duty in 86. To put it mildly, it took some getting used to. Chris, longtime viewers will recall, had even been buddies with Roman, the guy his portrayer was now, well, portraying. All these years later, of course, we fully accept Taylor as Roman. Heck, we've even gotten kinda used to the soap bringing back former cast members in new roles, as it did with Northrup, who went to the dark side as Alex North, Judy Evans, who's pulled double duty as ill-fated Adrienne and her lookalike, Bonnie and Kyle Loder, who, after playing Brady, accepted the part of Rex. And how cool was it when the soap had a bit of fun with this bit of history by having Taylor appear as Chris in the 2022 installment of the Days of Our Lives spin-off, Beyond Salem? If you missed the fun, check out our photo-filled recap of the episode in question. Not to be outdone, Tamara Braun made her Days of Our Lives to bud in 08 as Ava Vitali, reappeared three years later as Nicole's sister, Taylor, then came back again as Ava in 15. And for those keeping track, 2020. She also played two characters on General Hospital, Carly Corinthos and Kim Nero. It's sort of a thing with the Emmy winner, While You're Here, reeling from the recollection that Roman used to be Chris, stop off, why don't you at the below photo gallery, which counts down other actors like Taylor who have two-timed, that is, played two parts on the same show.